Hi, and welcome to the bonus day of the voice challenge. I wanted to take some time to give you a few tips and tricks for public speaking. And these can also be used in any type of performance situation. So if you have to go on stage, if you're in front of a, a live audience, um, even if you're in front of a Zoom call that is extremely important, you could use these tips um, before you go out, that's the key. You need to have just a little bit of a warm up sequence, like any professional um, athlete or actor would have, because it, public speaking is a performance, right? I have a few notes over here. So if you see me glancing, this is why I'm just checking my notes. The first thing that you can do is I want you to imagine that you've got a string pulling your head up, right? So you've got the string pulling your head up. You can even come up on your tippy toes if you're standing. And then come back down to your feet if you're standing, or you can feel the feet on the floor. But I want you to keep that sense of the string lifting your head up. Okay. So we're getting this sense of posture, alignment, up to go up, right? And you've got that string supporting you. Keep breathing. Then you can place a hand or both hands on your stomach and start to sense your breath coming in and going out. So coming in and going out. Coming in. and going out. Last time, breath comes in, and your breath goes out. Now we're going to transition so that you are going to um, hold the um, breath uh, on the out breath on a shh. We're going to do three strong shh as if you're telling someone to be quiet um, and you're going to sense um, just a little bit of engagement with your stomach as you do that. So we're going to go shh, shh, shh. Helps to do the hand gesture, doesn't it? Shh, shh, shh. And then at the end of that last shh, you are going to think, let my stomach go and the breath rushes back in right, without gasping. So you're not doing a <gasps> top up breath, but rather the air is rushing back in and you're using your diaphragm to release and your ribs are swinging out without any extra tension to them. So let's try that again. We're gonna do three shh, and then release your stomach, release your ribs, the air comes back in. Okay, let's do that together. Shh. And a third time, great, okay. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, we are going to have like a, a little bit of a check-in with the breath once more. This is really focused on your throat. So what you're gonna do is you can kind of cup your ears so you can hear your breathing better and you're going to um, open your mouth, open your jaw, and you're going to breathe in and out. So it's a little bit of a mouth breathing exercise here. And then make your breath silent. Close your lips, but keep a sense of the throat being open. You might do a few sirens with your voice, um, just very quickly, like a go from high to low, maybe two to three times. And low to high, two or three times. 
That was a low to high to high to low. Um, and then if you're needing a little bit of power for this, um, if you feel like you need um, to project yourself um, or if you need to stand strong, um, come to a wall, press against a wall. You're gonna feel your back muscles engaging and your ribs engaging. So you just press against that wall to feel that engagement. You might even breathe out as you do that. Um, and you could do like one of our vocal function exercises. Um, and you can do that against the wall to really feel that engagement. The final tip is that um, idea that was taught to me by a voice coach called Barbara Hausman which is the backward circle. So energy travels into you. I check in with myself and then I send the energy back out to the people that I'm talking with, right? So the energy comes to me. I'm checking in with myself before I send the energy back out. So it's that constant transfer of energy. I check in with myself before I send the energy back out. So you can have that image of the backward circle throughout your public speaking or performance. Okay, that's what I have for you today. Bye.